Hello, back for another video. Why not? Um, I did something the other day, which was I watched some of my older videos, which is never a good idea. <laughs> I find it was a bit embarrassing. Um, but the soul tag, which I did a, a while ago, which was uh, an interesting selection of questions to answer. Um, I realized in the video that I made, I got quite almost passionate talking about disco music and how um, it tends to be a bit misunderstood. So I thought I'd make a video showing some records which uh, I would consider disco records and maybe they won't be so misunderstood. Because obviously, yeah, there's lots of terrible disco music out there, isn't there? Um, and when we think of disco, lots of people think the Bee Gees, um, which are not a band to be laughed at. They're a very serious band. Um, great songwriters, consummate producers and very funky when they want to be. But um, uh, it's not really music I would listen to. And there's lots of sort of disco, which are really not my stuff. But there's lots of decent stuff out there. Now, my music tastes are a bit more mellow and chilled, so I don't really listen to it that much. But an album like this by The Love Machine got its place. It's also got some quite amusing artwork, which uh, gives you the disco feeling. But, you know, it's a decent record. Um, <laughs> speaking of funny artwork... Uh, this is a classic, classic record. I was just listening to it today, and that's proper, like, sort of um, slightly digital, not necessarily funky, but very dancey, four to the floor disco. And yeah, there's a story behind that cover, I think. But um, this is um, Warriors by, oh, I'll never forget, remember their name, Rinder and Lewis, who um, did a lot of great disco productions as well. I haven't even mentioned Chic and Donna Summer and all of the classic artists like that. Um, but there's great stuff out there. Um, obviously, though, like I said, my tastes aren't really dance floor based particularly. So you can get a lot of good disco albums. Sydney Barnes, Taste of Honey. And what they'll have on them is they'll have a slightly slower tune, which is an absolute banger, I find. So there's some very nice two-step soul on that one. And this is a great album, actually, Sydney Barnes. And the tune that I really like is not really a proper, proper disco song. Um, Your Love is So Good to Me. But, uh, yeah, really, really nice stuff. In and amongst all the other booming disco stuff, which, which has its place. It's pretty good as well. But uh, I might give you a taste of that one. And here's another one which I think would fit into that category. This is a group called Round Tree, and the uh, album is called Roller Disco, just in case you're in any doubt that it's a disco album. And look at them. It's a good look, isn't it? Uh, interesting, this one. Um, the uh, background vocals, none other than one Luther Vandross on the, back, on the background vocals. Uh, but again, this is full of sort of four to the floor disco stompers, and yet... Um, they thoughtfully put the BPMs of all of the uh, tunes here, and the slowest tune on here, 100 BPM, Lightning Strikes Twice, is just a, a funky soul monster. It's brilliant. I love it. And uh, probably, for many people, perhaps not even a disco song, but that's the great thing. Disco music is just soul music, and uh, it's a bit more dancey. So, yeah, have a listen to that one.
obviously uh, with disco we think a lot of novelty records because there are a lot of novelty records in disco i mean it was that time the sort of late 70s the sort of pomp and hysteria we think of lots of silly stuff and um even amongst the novelty records there's some decent stuff uh, so i present to you here samba soul um uh, which is basically a selection of uh brazilian hits done in the inimitable disco style uh uh, not a Brazilian hit actually, but Mambo Number no. Five, famous Latin tune, uh, originally by Perez Prado, given the disco treatment here. I don't know how, how much I can stomach this tune. I'm, I'm debating whether to get rid of this album. It's not a particularly expensive album, or uh, is it design? Is it people really like this album? I don't know. It's a bit of a cheapie, but um, there's something about it I find irresistible. So um, see what you think. And then you get these sort of outliers as well, just great albums that have that disco touch to them, like uh, Asher Pusley. Uh, I think she's the original brim full of Asher inspiration, if I'm not mistaken. And this is a wonderful, wonderful record. Uh, the Devil is Loose. Uh, the title track is fantastic, a nice sort of, uh, sort of Kate Bush style pop song. Really, really nicely done. She's got a fantastic voice. Um, and obviously, uh, What's it called? Space Talk is the nice sort of disco-y, what would you call it? It's kind of not trancey, but um, it's very, um, got that kind of whispery, ephemeral feeling to it. It's a wonderful, wonderful record. I know it's been reissued. This is actually a, an original UK copy. Very nice to have. Um, and I really, really love this album. So um, it's a disco album, definitely. Um, and also with disco, I think... Um, it's good to remember that a lot of it has a very strong Latin influence and root. Um, and you can hear that in the, in the breakdowns. Quite often you hear a bit of timbales and the cowbell very much. Uh, we associate that with disco. That really is a, comes from Latin music more than anything. And you do get some really great uh, Latin disco records. Um, here's a nice one by Al Santiago. Presents Yambu. Um, there's a very nice version here of Sunny done for the disco beat. It's actually a pretty good Latin album, this one, and not an expensive one to get either. Um, but yeah, really nice, um, that tune, Sunny, and yeah, decent album, very much in the disco style. And finally, just keeping it soulful um, with a compilation because uh, disco is many things to many people and many different types of music, many different sounds could be considered disco. And there was a compilation released several years ago by the uh, Athens in the North label, always worth checking out. 
and they've it became very in demand this and they've repressed it which is quite a relief because I've been eyeing it for quite some time and this is uh, called Disco with a Feeling this compilation it's got some really nice sort of independent up-tempo soul music that's basically what it is um, is it disco? Yeah, maybe um, but when it's really good it's really good there's some lovely tracks on here um, soulful uh, funky danceable and as it says with feeling that's the way good disco is right it makes you feel something hopefully um, my favorite song on here is actually quite a sort of complete uh, sort of completative yeah. a, a kind of thing about um, oh my mind's gone when you're reflecting on life let's say shall we uh, by uh, Daryl Johnson days gone past really nice is it a disco song I don't know but um, it's great so um, <clears throat> I think for many people, a lot of what I've shown probably isn't disco, it's just soul music, but maybe that's the case, right? Disco music is soul music, and that's my argument, I think. Anyway, um, that was a bit of a garbled video, but uh, maybe next time I'll be a bit more slick and professional. Until the next time, all the best. Mm -hmm.